All right, in this video audio recording here, I want to talk about faith without works. We know scripture says that faith without works is dead. Uh, most Christians, most believers think that faith is something that they could conjure up and manifest and produce from within themselves, something they could will into existence, when in reality, faith is something that is divinely given by the Most High, okay? Faith is given to you from on high, and it inspires you to believe in the things written in Scripture. It enables you to begin to understand what is written therein and to believe in some of the things that you read about in the Bible. So, yeah, faith is not something that you're going to be able to just, you know, produce out of nowhere just like that. No, it has to be given to you. Uh, of course, true faith will produce works for the kingdom, you know. Uh, true faith will produce uh, fruits of the Spirit. Uh, counterfeit faith will not produce any of those things. Uh, false faith, uh, the type of faith that I'm talking about in this video audio recording, faith that is dead, it's only going to give you lip service, you know. It's only going to talk about doing good things and what to do and talk about the Bible, but it's not going to put any of the things in the Bible into motion, you know? So you got to watch out for those things. Uh, there's also faith that is not developed. Many believers are given a measure of faith and they don't progress in their faith. They don't develop it into a faith that is matured in Mashiach because they don't do any of the commandments that they required in the Bible. They they don't take up their responsibility in regards to what is requested and required of them to do. Okay? As far as, like, you know, sharing the message with others, um, enlightening others, um, observing certain commandments that they have to put into motion and display. Uh, they expect our Savior to do everything for them, and that's why they remain remain with a stale type of faith that doesn't develop properly. So, yeah, uh, you see a lot of those things going on. Uh, just lip service, dead faith, no works, nothing. And then you also have stale faith that is only producing a small amount of works a uh, small amount of fruits of the spirit okay uh it never matures it never grasps the bigger picture okay as scripture says ever learning but never able to come to the knowledge of the truth for whatever reason uh they just don't get it but yeah real faith is gonna be active it's gonna be uh producing fruits of the spirit uh, for the most part, it's going to be on point, all right? So, yeah, if, uh, faith without any works is dead. Um, if it's divine faith, if you have true faith and you're working on it, on developing your faith, increasing it, then, yeah, you're going to see a lot of manifestations in your life by the power of Savior's Holy Spirit. Other individuals are going to see that you're not quite like everyone else. You're a little different, right? You're definitely going to stick out. And it'll be obvious to the world that you're a little different. They might even think you're a little weird, but hey, so be it. So yeah, um, that is true faith, all right? Faith that comes from on high. Faith that is developed through dedication and commitment, work. As far as your responsibilities go, all right? Uh, our Savior will take care of the hard parts. He'll work with you, but you got to work with them. All right, when he tells you to do something, you do it. If the Bible says don't do this, don't do it. If it tells you do this, do it. Uh, most Christians are sitting in their faith, uh, not developing it. Uh, they think that that's going to be enough to get them into the kingdom. I don't know. That's not a risk I'm willing to take. So, yeah, um, dead faith is faith that's just only going to give you lip service. It's only going to, you know, basically smooth talk you, but it's not going to show you anything. No effort whatsoever or just, it's not going to produce uh, the right fruits, okay? It's not going to meet the requirements. 
that is expected of that individual that is professing to have true faith. All right, so uh, just a short lesson on faith without works versus true faith. Um, yeah, know the difference. It's in the Bible. Study the difference. Uh, don't get confused. Like I said, true faith, when you begin to understand and believe in the things in the Bible, it's because it has been given to you by the Heavenly Father. Remember, no one goes to Him. Uh, except through the Son, unless He sends His Son into your life and He opens your mind so you can understand the things in the Bible. So He's not going to give you everything. You're going to have to seek some truths and, like I said, focus on yourself, develop your faith. As Scripture says, Savior, increase ye our faith, our, our little faith. So, you know, it, you got to work with our Savior, with His Holy Spirit, and He'll work with you, okay? It's, it's, it's uh, teamwork, okay? So, yeah, don't get it confused. Uh, you're not going to accomplish everything on your own, and he's not going to do everything for you. So, with that being said, as always, nothing but love. Continue in the faith. All glory and praise to the Heavenly Father, His Son, the Holy Spirit. Shout out to all the messenger angels out there helping seal the elect in these end times. Shout out to His elect scattered throughout the four corners of this earth, the 144,000 elect chosen out of the 12 tribes of Israel. Uh, keep pushing this truth day in and day out to the best of your abilities and sincerity and in truth uh, until time runs out. Alright, so that's it. Till next time. Peace. Shalom.